Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously and we share the stories of everyday people. <laughs> Cue the intro. and we have my friend Shonda here and we are going to talk about balance. Mm -hmm. I feel like I am always trying to get better at balancing mm. my life and I think there's like pressure to be perfectly balanced but I've been finally accepting that life is just not perfectly balanced. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> and as like entrepreneurs and just doing a lot of things, right? Like you do a lot of things. And disclaimer, I... I talk about balance just to talk about the things that work for me. Yeah. But to be honest, no one has it down pat. Right. It's no one. It's just like life in general, just like journey, figure it out as you go. Yeah. You know, as females, as women of color, as wives now, mm -hmm. um, these pressures of being like good at everything yeah. and being perfect yeah. is definitely real. Balance for me is just categorizing okay so like I do so many things so just a little bit about myself is I work in music and entertainment mm -hmm. I work full-time um, in marketing for yeah. entertainment agency and then I also like run a nonprofit um, called 6D Network Tainment where we do like artist development things um, and then I also curate my own events on the side and I'm yeah. a festival director for yeah. Windy Fest a festival that I started and then, so there's those work things, those passion things, yeah. and then there's like family and friends, and then there's like self-care and lazy days where yeah. you're just like, I don't want to do anything. Today. Yeah, and so, I struggle with those. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it's literally categorizing those things and just scheduling them. Yeah, I think being organized is a huge part of it, and then also just like, like being being nice to yourself. Man. Cause I mean, if it if you don't care about you, nobody else will. It's hard to balance, mm -hmm. and it's hard. To, but I think also like changing the mindset. I'm trying to make, change the mindset of not thinking it as hard, mm -hmm. and just thinking of it as you know, it's just part of life. Yeah. Right. Everyone's mm -hmm. doing it, and I hate complaining about it because you know our parents, my parents did it with like a lot less, right? Or like, you know, my, my parents had kids by my age. Right? Yeah, and they still did everything. They did like, everything. I don't know how they did it because I mean, I don't have children now. I'm a child myself still. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's like just alleviating that pressure yeah. of being balanced. Yeah. For me, it was also learning to say no. Learning how to say no is legit a skill. Like, yeah a skill like people write and books on a podcast to. and knowing when to. because saying no to everything is not what we're no. saying because i yeah. i'm really big on taking an opportunity trying things out and mm -hmm. seeing if it's good for you and keep on trying because yeah. it's all like trial and error right like one situation may not be perfect but maybe i need to try something similar to it that's mm -hmm. more aligned with what i want to do and then eventually realizing and that that's tricky like figuring out how much time do I put into something yeah and just knowing like because I got into the mode of kind of how I got into like my artist development things I had like a lot of my artist friends come to me like hey can you help me out with a b and c mm -hmm. and I used to just do it to build up my skills before yeah. I knew I was doing it to build my skills. I was yeah. just like, okay, I'll just say yes to everyone. Yeah. But then once you get there and once you figure out like how to do things, then you start putting a little price tag on it. And exactly. it's just like, all right, if you want me to do this for you, I'm gonna have to charge you this. Right. Or like make it a trade of services even. Yeah. Like yeah. if I'm helping you out with this, in return, you know, right. you're good. Everybody's good at something. Right, right. So and recognizing, that's part of it. yeah, like recognizing like your time is valuable. Mm -hmm. And even though you may not have like an exchange of money, there needs to be some kind of appreciation of time. Exactly. The difference between being scared mm -hmm. and it not being right. Yeah. And I think that can be challenging to recognize. But usually when you're scared, it's like you're creating excuses. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're creating these ideas that are not true. Yeah. But when it's not right, you know 
yeah. that it's not right. You gotta live fearless. Yeah. Like, that's, if anything, that's part of balance because if you're not evolving, if you're not screwing up and falling down and getting back up, you're not living life. Right. So I think that's a part of balance is just living fearlessly and like trying new things and taking risk. And with some of those things, that is the conflict of like when to say no, because mm -hmm. it's just like, Oh, I do kind of want to help this person and try this thing out that they're yeah. asking me for. But yeah. it, it can get overwhelming. It's just like, it's a, a, a seesaw. Like, <laughs> it really is. Because so sometimes you may say yes and you realize afterwards, okay, that wasn't the best use of my time. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, it's a learning lesson. Yeah. Right? So like, as long as you are learning and as long as, yeah, ex exactly. Like this evolving, like I, I look at where my life it was like a few months ago or my life was like a year ago. Yeah. And if you feel like it's going in the right direction, yeah. then that's what matters. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, yeah, fa balancing family has always been a challenge for me. Um, and it's crazy because I always say family is my number one priority. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. But then somehow I, it's like this idea that career and all of those type of things are really like it's not aligned. Mm -hmm. I used to fault myself for putting my family on my schedule, yeah. quote unquote. But it's good to just have some type of organization for your life in general. Yeah. Like, even my husband and I, we were kind of like going back and forth about like one day out of, out of the week to do like a date night. Yeah. And we just like thought about it for a little while because it was just like it's hard. To do it every every Wednesday. And then I'm just like, no, we have to pick one random day every week. Yeah. And it's hard because like life changes so much. There's right. so much stuff going on. But I don't think there's anything wrong with like actually putting on your calendar. On this Sunday, I'm going to hang out with my family. Yeah. And it's kind of good because if somebody's like, hey, can you come to this event on Sunday at three o'clock? And you're like, nope. I have on it Sunday. Makes, it makes it easier to yeah, say no, right? Exactly. Because you've like made commitments. I want to go back to family a little bit more yeah. just because like even for my family specifically, like they know what I went to school for. They know a general sense of what I do. Yeah. But as a creative and how we get involved in so many different lanes and so yeah. many different things, they don't really they know really what we do. Yeah. They think that we go to work and come home. It's not a straightforward career. Exactly. Yeah. So when it's just like, my grandma, she's 85, and she's just like, yeah, I haven't seen you or talked to you in a long time. Yeah, I get that all the time. She doesn't understand yeah. that I'm working. All the time. All the time. Yeah. So it's just like we have to kind of put ourselves in their shoes to right. be like, you know what? She's right. Yeah. I can take five hours out of my day to come yeah. spend time with my grandma. Like, right, why right, right. Balance is a personal thing. Mm-hmm. And it never may feel perfect. No. But accept the imperfection yeah. and the beauty of that. Write it down. Yeah. Write it down. Do you use a paper planner or use a, comp uh, like a phone or? My phone. I yeah. use my notes app. I use my reminder app. I use Google Calendar and all yeah. of those wonderful Google apps. I'm definitely digital. Yeah. And it it helps, like just to write it down. What works, what doesn't work. Write down your to do list. Yeah. Break down you a always monthly have your one. Phone. You always have your phone. Right. Why not use it to help you proceed with life? Right. And not just like social media. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. all it's all balance. So always figuring it out. Yeah. And um, it's a work in progress. Life is just a work in progress yes. all the time. <laughs> No one has a down pack, Nobody like I said does. before. Like, right. I mean, it's trial and error. As long as you take that time out to care for yourself. Dope. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We do this every single week. Come through. Come talk to me. We just like having conversations. Yeah. I love connecting. I love just keeping it real because I think the reality is is everyone's trying to be perfect and everyone's trying to put out their best version of themselves mm -hmm. as we all should. Like we should all be, um, you know, care about what we're putting out there because yeah. it's important and that's who you are. But just talk about real life because life's not easy and life's not perfect and we're all just figuring it out. So yep. thank you. Bye.